It's opening day of the 2022 Pennsylvania Spring Turkey Season. So the property line's about not even 100 yards from here. And it sounds like all the birds are about 400 yards. I did have two hens come by me about 60 yards, maybe 70. I think I'm gonna head up over here and uh, walk the edge of this field around and do a little column up top see what happens been a good morning it's cold a lot of goblin going on down in the holler but can't go there we don't have permission After a slow start to the day, I began to walk and call in hopes of locating a bird. And after no success, I decided to call it a day and head home. When much to my surprise, I saw a good long beard out in the pipeline strutting with multiple hens. I knew I needed to make a game plan so that I could get into position. To fool a turkey's eyesight is no easy task, but with the help of angles, terrain, elevation, trees, and a little luck, a hunter can close the distance without being detected. After crawling through most of this field, I was beginning to fatigue, but the adrenaline and raw emotion of knowing this long beard was just on the other side of this hedgerow kept me going. While I was belly crawling, I was making noise, and to not alarm these birds, I would lightly call using my mouth call to keep them at ease. This tactic of calling intermittently worked to my favor as this long beard came within six yards of me to check me out. Now although I wasn't prepared to shoot in the direction that he approached, I waited him out and I waited for him to go behind a tree so that I could roll on my side and make the shot. Nothing feels better than when a game plan comes together. <sighs> Got it done. Oh my goodness, I belly crawled. 
Well, I belly crawled through this field all the way up, got into the hedgerow, and was <laughs> following them up the hedgerow, belly crawling. And I was just calling lightly. And he worked his way down. My goodness. He was like eight yards when I shot him. Heck yeah. I love it. I love it. Good deal. I'm going to get him back to the truck. Whew. Go from there. Whoo. Whoo. Man, what a hunt this was. <laughs> Jeez, what a hunt. Set in a different spot this morning and uh i think i heard this guy gobble i was he was about 400 yards away from me maybe a little further and i ended up having two hens come by me and uh nothing else with them let them pass i sat there for another about 20 minutes and i got in the truck and was gonna head back and i saw the him and some other hens out in the pipeline and uh so i just i turned back around i parked and made a really long walk and i thought i bumped them but they had done moved over into the field and uh, i belly crawled through the field i was in there was a hedgerow between us and uh, it was about 10 yards wide and i caught in the middle of it because it looked like they were gonna keep going up and i just made a couple soft calls and got his attention and he Worked his way down. Actually surprised me because I thought he was going to cross the hedgerow like the hens were. And uh, he walked down on me like six yards. And I had to move. And when I moved, he didn't really like it. But he didn't really have a choice at that point because I got the gun on him. And the rest, as they say, is history. It's a beautiful bird. Beautiful. I love the colors of a turkey. He's got decent little spurs. They're not the greatest, but I'm not worried about that. He's got a really nice beard. But at the end of the day, we got some turkey breast and some drumsticks. So I got another probably 400 yard, 500 yard walk back to the truck from here. I killed him about another 300 from here. It's been a lot of walking this morning. Thanks for watching. Man, we are blessed. Blessed by God. Thank you, Lord.